We've looked at how we can add content from scratch using Google Gemini and how we can ask Google Gemini to create something based off an existing document. And now we're going to take a look at how we can ask Google Gemini to rewrite existing content that we have. So I'm going to get back into my Google workspace and I'm actually going to open up this Aramar history document. I'm going to take a second to open up the file. And we're actually going to ask Google Gemini to edit some of this text and help me to rewrite it. So it's not a very long paragraph, but we're going to highlight this. And then I'm going to click Help Me Write. Now, because this is already existing, that Help Me Write dialog box isn't going to open the same way that it did when we asked for it to give us content from scratch. So we're now going to ask it to do some things. I'm going to draw your attention first up to this tone option. So something that Google Gemini will do for us is we can have it adjust the tone of our current piece. If we're doing business writing, we want it to be more formal. We can ask it to take the formal route. Or if we're writing something more fun, like we want to turn something into a poem, we can make it more casual. So for this example, let's formalize this and see what happens. So I'm going to click the formal button. And that box now is going to pop up below on our screen, similar to how when we ask it to write us something. And now it's going to give us this text. So now it says, so now instead of the educational branch was conceived in 18 or 1982, it now says the educational division of Aromar was established in the year 1982. So it completely kind of adjusted it, made it sound way more formal than casual. So something else that we can do while we're trying to rewrite this text is we can continue to refine it in different ways. We can adjust the tone more. We can ask it to summarize, bullet, elaborate if we want, shorten it. So for this example, say I'm like, all right, let's, let's elaborate now. I'm going to click elaborate. We'll do its thing. So now it's not only making it formal, but we're making it more elaborate. So now it's made it a lot longer. So instead of the three paragraphs that we started with, now we have more of like a nice little Nice little essay here about it. And then if you're ready, all we're going to do is we can click replace, which means it's going to replace the existing text. Or we can just insert it below. So maybe for some reason, if you're like, oh, I want to go back to that text later, we can keep it. So let's just insert for now. So now we have, let's see, where are the, um, great. So this, I'm going to add a little horizontal line in here just so we can have the, um, I can show the two differences. So now we have our existing text here at the bottom. This is the new stuff that we just added in. We asked uh, Gemini to elaborate on this and now has created this new text for us. Something else that I want to show you when we talk about wanting to rewrite text in Gemini is we also can ask Gemini, we can give it our own prompt for the rewrite. So I'm actually going to highlight this again, the Aromar history. Oops, I just want the, those three paragraphs there. And then I'm going to scroll up to our little pencil to help me write. And now I'm going to give it a custom thing. So I kind of like this idea. Let's make it a poem. And let's see, let's see what Gemini gives us when I ask it to make it a poem. So now where it's taking that text that exists, and it's going to turn it into a little poem for us. So it now says, in the realms of knowledge, a vision took flight. Aramo's branch conceived in 82's light. So now it's taken our little history thing that we have here, and it's turned it into a poem based on the prompt that we gave it. So not only can Gemini uh, elaborate and formalize text that exists, we also can give it its own prompt, like making it a poem or a song. Or another thing we can do is if I highlight this again, I can ask it to um, make this text um, like make this text for a third grader. So we can also ask it to like shift how we word things. So now it's turned it more into a story because I said, you know, make this text for like a third grader. And now it's saying once upon a time in the year of 1982. So you can ask Gemini to do these different things to adjust your text, which can be a kind of fun, but also make our work life a lot easier.